Yeah, welcome to an episode of InRange. Uh, I'm here to you today with a very exciting video. This is the prototype version of the Bond Arms lever gun. Not yet officially named, nor is it in production. This is the prototype. We did a video earlier on the channel showing a number of the prototypes and the process getting to this point, but this is still not representative of what will be the final product. That said, I'm very excited to provide you the first video, I think, about live fire with this new modern lever gun. So as you saw, that was five rounds pretty darn fast. Let's go ahead and turn the camera angle around, set it up with some targets downrange, and show you some more. Well, I just fired five rounds rapid fire. Why don't we do the thing we do on in-range? We've got a spinner down here at 50 yards, right? Not my best run, but my first try, no problem, with the lever gun. I missed a couple shots at the top, that was me. That's just a matter of getting used to the gun. But one thing that's really cool is the low bore offset of the optic. This isn't even optimal. This is a standard AR height upper. We have the lowest mount for this Sig Sauer Romeo. But it's kind of low with this comb on this stock. It's right there, and as you saw, I could keep on it with the lever gun. Each shot fired. Let's do a little more of that. Well, always use a brace if you can. You see that made a difference. So this thing is no problem off a brace, offhand, spinning the spinner. And I think you could notice through that, I took a couple follow-up shots when the spinner was doing that irritating thing where it's not quite there. I could cycle this fast enough to put follow-up shots on it. I think I even pushed it over as a result. So I think that tells you something about the controllability of this. All right, yeah, just wanted to show you a little dump there for the finale. Um, if you haven't already seen from the video, this is a highly controllable gun. And one of the interesting things about it is the normal recoil impulse from 5.56 in a normal DI gas gun or any 5.56 gun that's semi-automatic, this actually has less recoil. Um, I didn't really think about it how much that the cycle of the bolt or the, uh, the bolt carrier group and striking the rear, et cetera, all that, how much that impacts your perceived recoil in a gun. Since this is manually operated and you're cycling it when you're ready to cycle it, all you're feeling is the push of that 55 grain bullet leaving the barrel and it's actually quite minor. Staying on target is a piece of cake. Uh, we're using standard PMAGs, nothing special here. And I just want to remind you, this is a prototype gun. So this is not representative of the final product. But so far today, this thing has ran like a champ. We put a number of mags through it. We spun the spinner a number of times. We shot off that target quite a bit. We did some mag dumps like you just saw right now. And this is an easy to handle, short throw lever, modern lever action, exactly what I would have wanted. And the fact that you can dump rounds like that and keep them on target is exactly where this should be and where it's headed. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And I want to thank Bond Arms again for giving us the opportunity to do the first live fire video with this prototype. I'm very excited to get my hands on this into a two-gun match or a brutality event 
I honestly think I'll keep up with a bunch of semi-automatic shooters with this gun. I really don't question that at this point. So hopefully you'll see that on the channel in the future. Once again, just want to remind you, the in-range is completely non-sponsored content. Bond Arms did not pay for this video. All they did was provide the gun for us to be able to do this video for you today. The reason in-range exists is because of Patreon and Utron and viewers like you. So if you support us there, thank you. If you'd like to, please consider it. And if you can't, share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching.